Hello, hello. Hello. How are you, Irania? I'm doing fine. Good. Yes. I'm doing okay. Thank you. Okay. How was your free week? Mm, it was pretty nice because I rest more than normal. Okay, good. And how are the classes going? Mm, actually, we are about to finish the, the classes. This is the last week of okay. classes and the first two weeks of November are going to be the final evaluation. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Everything online. Yes, online. And I think that we are going to start next year the same way. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's what the minister said that, you know, like, um, we will start the same way. Uh -huh. But I, I was reading a, a newspaper online uh -huh. and they said that the Ministra de Educación said that the students could go back to the schools on February, I, I think. Right. But I, I couldn't understand if that was only a, I don't know how to say, supposition. A, yeah, a comment. You know, uh, uh, apparently, her position is is official, but predictable to to say what will happen in December or in January. So that is the position they have, but things mm -hmm. can change. Yeah, things can change. All right. Hello, mm -hmm. Irene and Roxana. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How Good are evening. you? Hi, we are cool. Nice. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Okay. So, did you did you rest last week? Yes, I did. Good. Good. All right. So, when we don't have classes, what do you usually do at this time? Do you watch television? Do you listen to music? Do you prepare yourself for the following day? What do you do? Uh huh. In my case, listen to music. You listen to music. What music do you like, Irene? Gospel music. Gospel. Good. Good. English or Spanish? Uh, both. Good. Good. Yeah. Song is in English and the other one is in Spanish, but no matter. Okay, good, good. And you, Arenia, what do you usually do when we don't have classes? Um, most of the time I read, but sometimes when I uh, have not a time for cleaning the house during the day, I do it at night. Good, good. Mm -hmm. All right, Williams. Nice. How are you, Williams? Thanks. You? Good, good. So what do you usually do when we don't have classes, Williams? Um, I've been working. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And, and where do you work again? In Lassen, like an NGO. Okay. Yeah. All right, good, good. And Roxana? Um... I'm a teacher and sometimes I have to prepare my classes. So I spend time uh, doing different things related with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. were, 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 you were in the previous group, weren't you, Roxanne? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, you work in Colegio Josue, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, yeah, I work at Universidad Tecnológica. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good, good. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's good to see you again. Um, and let's begin. What is today's date? Today, Monday, 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 yes. October 26th. Exactly. October 26th, 2020. So let us begin. 
um, we're going to be, let me show you this document here. Was that document? Oh no, it's a. Uh... Okay, give me a second. Yeah, it was somewhere else. Let me assign you while I look for this this document, and talk about the things you guys did last week when you were on vacation. Okay, so here we go, three and two. Meanwhile, let me look for the document. Rocio. Rocio, can you hear me? Yes, yes. How are you? Fine, fine, thanks. Good, good. Okay, I sent you to room two. Do you have access to room two? Mm, not yet. Uh, I I was trying to connect to, to a room, but... Okay, after, can, maybe uh, if you leave the session and come right back, please. Okay, okay. Okay. Please. All right. Yes, yes. Okay. Don't worry. All right. Selena, can you hear me? Yes. How are you today? Fine, and you? Good. You're new in the group, aren't you? Hey. <laughs> can you repeat, please? You are new in the group. No. Really? Um, but we do. As professor, yes. That, that, that's what I'm saying. You are new in this in this class. Okay. 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 Yes, okay. I'm new. Where Where do you live, Selena? I live in Santa Elena. Okay, San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay, very good. So right now we're having an activity where people are talking about the different activities they did last week because you know it was like vacation time so i'm going to send you to room one so you get to speak with the others okay ah, thank you all right thank very you. good mm -hmm. thank you sure rocio can you hear me
Norma. Can you hear me, Norma? Yes, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you? I'm doing okay, thanks. How was your week? Very quiet, uh, or, or, or I don't know what is the correct uh, word. Sure. Very... sure, you can say quiet, uh, you can say easy. So quiet is good. Okay. Right. Okay, let me see this here. I'm looking for a... Okay. Okay, assign to room three. Assign to room three. And assign to room three. All right, so you're going to room three, Norma. Okay, thank you. Good. Um, the weekend I went to the lake with my sister and my family. Okay, which lake? Ilopango. Nice. Okay, that's nice. Yesterday I went to Ruta de las Flores, but it wasn't so good because it was raining a lot. So oh. we didn't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it rained hard. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I was in Aguachapan like about 3 p.m. and it was raining cats and dogs. We only went to Nahuitalco and Huayua, and we were about to go to Ataco, but better we didn't because it was flooded, I think. Right, right. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that, that's the problem, you know, like uh, we make plans, but then you have weather yes. circumstances where you need to change your plans a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And in my case, I went to the La Costa del Sol yesterday. Uh, and was I went it to raining? the Yes, but around 2 p.m. Uh, but I don't know if that in that time that was raining in San Salvador, but in La Costa del Sol was a very soft rain because okay. in here in San Salvador they rain very hard, right? Yeah, and they were mm -hmm. even floods with all the mm -hmm. garbage and, and things like that. Yeah, I saw the, the news. It was very awful. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and dangerous too. Yes. Dangerous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For driving is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Driving, walking, I mean, you have to be extra careful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Francisco. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh. It's here. <laughs> How are you? It's here right now. How are you? Daniel, how are you, Daniel? I'm good, thank you, Francisco. Okay, you're new in the group, right? Yes, I the the new pollito. Okay. <laughs> Where do you work, Daniel? I work in Atigo, Francisco. Okay. Atigo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We were we were there, but actually we are working from. How do you say home office? Yeah, yeah. home office. Mm -hmm. The majority okay. of people we are home office. It may be some, uh, well, the technician they are in the field. Right. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where do you live, Daniel? I live in Santa Tecla. Okay. But but I think they came back for to this English class because actually. I mean Mexicanos because I was telling to to William that I have a, a, I am painting the house because uh, my inquilinos left the last weekend. 
So I have to repair or put available for the new inquilinos. I don't know how you say inquilinos. Tenants. 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 What part of Mexicanos is the house? I'm in Corinto, Ciudad Corinto. Oh, right now. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good, good. Yes. Okay, you well, yeah, I, I have never gone inside Corinto, but I know where the location is. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I'm here. I have to come back to my and house around, around 11 p.m. Yes. So okay. I'm connected from my mobile because I don't have a computer. The computer available right now. Okay. But I'm trying to, to listen to you. All right. Thank good. you for your English class. Very, very good. Nice. Welcome to the group. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Jesus. Jesus Hernandez. Can you hear me, Jesus? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. It's, it's was a... You're new in the group too? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, well, I work at El Salvador University. Okay. Are you a teacher? I, uh, no. I am archivist accountant. Accountant archivist. Okay. And I live in Santa Tecla. All right. Near okay. Good, good. Hey, with Jesus, we were uh, classmates the last model. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and they transfer you to a different group. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. So, welcome. Thank you. Also, Nancy and William, welcome back. Thank you, teacher. All right. Your listening is, is more, more, uh, is lovely. Mm. Yes. Teacher, what, what to, to, what is your, uh, I don't know what to, your impression or your experience uh -huh. uh, for the student uh, is more difficult the development the listening or speaking um usually if if you're talking about the english learning process people usually have more problems with the listening mm -hmm. um yes. and they speak a lot you know people they speak they speak but sometimes they have problems to understand when another person is talking uh, a movie uh, uh music so, but everybody's a different case. Some people might say, no, I don't have any problems with listening. I understand. But maybe they have problems to pronounce certain words. But as a general concept, uh, students usually have uh, more problems with listening than speaking. I, 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 I uh, think uh, for me it's more difficult than listening. Okay. More, more when, more than when the people speak very fast. Mm -hmm. I don't understand all the thing they said. Only the main uh, message. Okay. Or the, or the main message. Okay. Well, you know, in, in that case, when you understand the main message, that's fine. That's perfect because that's that's the main idea. Like catch the general message. But now it will be better if you understand, you know, like details. But but yeah, listening is is something that where where people usually have more a little bit of more problems with uh, with the understanding part. Okay. Yes. All right. So let me visit one more room, and oh. here we go. Everybody's coming back. So let's wait for the others. Do you know what happened to the other classmates that you had in the previous level? No. No? no. Okay. 
All right, so. Good, 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 good. Okay, so welcome back everybody. For the ones that incorporated a little bit uh, late, my name is Francisco Marroquin. I'm going to be your English teacher for the next uh, four weeks. Remember that uh, we expect you to do um, work in the platform. Insafor evaluates your work in the platform. So my suggestion, my advice is do not accumulate work until the very end because you know, that puts uh, extra pressure and people say, no, I won't have time to do it and blah, blah, blah. So it's better if you have the time, do it every day, do a little bit every day. Or if that's not your case, try to do it on a weekly basis. So that way, you know, like little by little, you are uh, moving in the platform. Any questions or comments so far? No? All right, so let me see this here. Share pause, share pause, and all right, can you see my screen? Yes. All right, so uh, can somebody please read the topic? Clauses? Clauses, phrases, showing contrast and exception. Thank you. So clauses and phrases showing contrast and exception. What's the meaning of the word contrast? What is contrast? The, the opposite. It's opposites. Yes, the opposites. <laughs> yes, when you have something that contradicts the, a particular situation. So when you talk about contrast, it's very normal that in English, uh, people use the word while, unlike, and the last expression in contrast to, it's very literal, uh, to express uh, uh, something that is different, something that is opposite. Can somebody please read the first example with the word while? Anybody? Okay. Well, typical Italian person thinks a school is boring. A typical Japanese person doesn't. Thank you. So while the typical Italian person, you know, they have a concept, they say, oh, school is boring. The Japanese, they have a very different opinion. So while is the, the word that we use to express contrast. Thank you, William. Any questions in the first example? So we're comparing a Japanese person with an Italian and they are completely different in terms of the way they see education. All right. Uh, Another volunteer to read the second example. Okay, me, teacher. Yeah, Francisco. Go ahead, anybody. Okay. Go ahead, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Unlike, unlike the Japanese, Italians, since they drink a lot of water. Okay, thank you. So once again, they are comparing the Japanese with the Italians, and they said, unlike the Japanese, Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water. So who drinks a lot of bottled water? The Japanese or the Italians? The Italians. Okay, so what is the position of the Japanese in terms of drinking uh, bottled water? Do they drink a lot of bottled water? No, they, no, they, they don't. Like the, yeah. yes. Exactly. And then the last one, another volunteer yes. to read in contrast to. Daniel, okay. okay, go ahead. In contrast to Italian drivers, Japanese people drive on the left. Okay, in contrast to Italian drivers. So according to this example, which side do Italians drive on? On the right. Left. On the right. Yeah. right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So in contrast to Italian drivers, so they say Japanese, they drive on the left. So that means that Italians, they drive on the, on the right. right. Yes. The right, yes. All right. Any questions there with while, unlike, or in contrast to? 
No, but I have a question about, do you know why the Japanese people write on the left? I have no idea. Because I only know that the English or the British person, they drive on left, but I don't know why the Japanese too. Okay. Now, when they say on the left, um, does that mean on the left lane or on the left side of the car? The, it the left side of the car. Uh -huh. No, okay. but the, the line of the street is, is on, on, on left. Okay. And they have the, the timon. The steering wheel. The steering wheel on the right so okay all right it's, uh, yeah. it's like a, a british uh, custom uh -huh. british custom okay oh. yeah it will be good to find out why they do it mm -hmm. yeah okay anybody else has any other comments or questions no and then when you're talking about making exceptions you use the word except except for the fact, except for, uh, and the same way you use it in Spanish. Any questions or comments about this? No? All right, so let's, let's do this exercise, 1.2. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, I need a volunteer to read the first example. Mario? Okay. Uh, yes. Number one, while most while most Americans live on their own before marriage. Okay. Um, what do you think is the best answer? A, B, or C? B. B? C. Uh, letter C. Letter C? Letter okay. C. Oh, um, Americans, uh, right? Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no. So the B. Americans, maybe letter uh, C. A. B. No. C. Letter C. 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 Oh, C, C I don't know. <laughs> C as in cat. B, B as in baby or C as in cat? C as in cat. cat. Okay. In cat. okay. Don't worry. We'll check the answers later. Okay. okay. Thank you, uh, Mario. All right. Another volunteer to read number two, please. Unlike the average American student. Uh huh. Uh, a student here study either in the morning or in the afternoon. Okay, let's click yeah. that one. Okay, what about number three? Another volunteer. In contrast to most Americans, mm -hmm. people here don't usually have more than one TV. Okay, let's check that there. Okay, now what is the conjunction being used in the first one? Well, while exactly. So remember, when you're doing this exercise uh, in the platform, read the instructions because sometimes a period uh, or a comma will make the difference, and the platform will not read your answer. So while type the conjunction that is being used, use capital letters, not period. So we will do that while, what is the answer for the second one? Unlike. 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 Let's check unlike. And the last one, what is the last one? In Con contrast to. Okay, in contrast to, in contrast to. So let's check the answers. While, unlike, contrast, and all your answers were good. Congratulations. All right, any questions or comments? No? Okay, so let me... Teacher. Yes. I, I did the exercise and the number they compare number three. Uh -huh. I put in contrast two and I fail. Okay, uh, in number three. I don't know why, yeah. It's only in contrast without two. Okay. Yeah. Okay, in yeah, contrast only in contrast, two. right. Only in contrast, yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Right there. 
Ah, uh, okay. I omit to. Right. Yeah. So you don't need to write the word uh, to. So in contrast. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Good. Very good. All right. So let's change activity. That was like the grammatical part of the lesson. Maybe we can say. Now we go to the speaking section. Uh, one way or the other, everybody uses technology, all the digital things that we use nowadays. So let me see this here. Okay, it's loading. Uh -huh. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. yes. Okay, questions are right there. I will assign you to work in pairs. Recreate, recreate. Okay, and there we go. So answer the questions and let's begin talking. I will send you the, the questions to the chat or if you prefer, you can uh, take a screenshot right now too. Eight to nine. <sighs> Nubia, can you hear me? And you can have a uh, a laptop. The last laptop is more expensive yes 
Hmm. I think it depends on the. I mean, for example, for my mom, for my grandma, it's a little bit difficult to understand a lot of things that technology offers. For example, yes. the the different kind of cell phones that we have right now, because you have to use them in a different way. Use it goes in a <laughs> yeah. Okay, the second one. Do you think mm -hmm. it is difficult to keep up with technology? To keep up with technology? Uh, yes, in this, in this, in these times, uh, the the technology is changing a lot in a small, in a short time. So I sometimes you have. Laptop. And the second question is uh, the second question. Let me see. Is um, do you think do you think it's difficult to keep to keep up with technology? Do you think it's difficult to keep up why with technology? What is the answer, Daniel or Nubia? <laughs> I think it's not difficult for, because the world will be going easier than the tradition uh, or maybe our customs because the digital is could be, could be easy our life. Right. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Nubia? Right, it's uh, no problem too. Uh, the technology is, is very is very good. Right. Yes. Okay. Ten years and six years. Oh yeah, they're very young. Yes. Yeah, I, I understand that, that you are yes. restricting the hours from the use the TV <laughs> or the computer or the uh, cell phones. <laughs> yes. And how are you, Walter? Do you think that it's difficult to keep up with the technology? It's a little bit difficult because uh, um, for the cost, we, we need to, to uh, to costing every every time in order to be with with the best technology uh, mm -hmm. for users. Mm -hmm. and how are you, Francisco? Do you think it's difficult to keep up with the technology? Um, it depends, you know, because technology is changing every day, every single minute. Like right now, they're also uh, inventing something new whether cell phones, computers. So it depends uh, which programs uh, you are referring to. But uh, I mean, like what we use every day, I think it's, um, it's not that difficult, but I know that they are always thinking about uh, bringing new things. So it depends which, which mm. area you want to use it for. Yeah. In my case, totally. I have a big problem. Okay. Because my husband is a first buyer. He's the first about, buyer. Yes, about all technology. Okay. He needs the the lo ultimo. The latest technology. The yes. latest. Okay. What is what is his profession? He's an architect. Yep, yep. Yes, they, they work a lot with, with technology, architects. Yes. yes. Or the he, IT programmers he, too. He, right. He, exactly. Okay. And yeah, you have a very good topic, uh, Francisco, because I remember that I saw the, a video, a commercial video from a, from a cars. In okay. the United States, the BMW, the new BMW, they have a lot of technology in his, in the car because yeah. 
Mm. They have the, yes. they they move uh, automatically if you don't touch anything. Right. So you only push the, the the foot on the accelerator and they run along and they. Right. They, they turn was, and everything. Yes, I saw that video this morning. And I say Mercedes Benz too. Mercedes Benz they too. All the park all these cars. Alone. Yeah. yeah. They park alone. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. They. I know someone with a BMW, and, and the car is like, uh, like ten years old. You see the car; it doesn't look like it's ten years old. And when you get inside the car, it looks like like very new, in good condition, and everything. So whatever they present today, they know it's going to be good in the next 10 or 15 years. Right. Yep. Yes. Yeah, yep. so you're t totally right. Depends on the technology that you think that is difficult to keep up. I right. Understand that. Yes, and I com understand you, Francisco. Right. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. If a if a, if a relation, re, re, relation, relation, Related to uh, the same topic we were talking about because uh, digital for me is uh, like a, a option or the or the product or the technology maybe. Okay. Is that is that is that Anthony 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 what uh -huh. Anthony. Antonym. Uh, antonym or conventional form. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, when I read the digital, I always uh, imagine the zeros and one numbers. <laughs> uh, and for me, it's um, related to uh, um, uh, all the communication uh, in, in all four. Uh, Writing, listening. My life without computers. Okay, I, I think it's, uh, it was. Uh, uh, Bars. Being really, really hard because I depend totally of, uh, of the computer. <laughs> uh, some days I am in front of the computer from 8 a.m to 11 or 12 p.m. And so long days yeah, exactly so I, I can't imagine my life without computer because it's the, the, the base of my work okay like, um, because I well in, in my case for my work it is difficult but um, I like in, in my personal condition, but the mm -hmm. student don't, uh, they don't prepare Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, what do you and think? For me, for me, digital, I, I relation the world with the, with the, when you 
typing something. Uh, for example, when you make something, you only you only need push the the button. It's yes. very easy. It's not it's not necessary. Um, may a lot of things for one thing. <laughs> yes, and for me, yes. digital for me, resources make the life easier. Yes. Have you said before the digital? Yes. <laughs> they are not. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. What do you in feel more, when... in more case? In, in the most cases, okay. What do you what do you feel when the, the parents are making the homeworks uh, of their children? Yeah, the, because I mm -hmm. I feel frustrated because um, um some some someone someone parent uh, say from Michael my coordinator um they are they are como poner queja no sé uh -huh. they are they complain complain they, they complain for all the work for the uh -huh. teacher they complain about yes. There are too, too, much, the, the too much work to do. Uh -huh. oh. Yes. Because it is. The distance is. Uh, is este, cerca? Is, uh, close. What? Yeah. Close. close. close or near? It's close. Or near. Or, or near. Uh -huh. The <laughs> Okay, thank you. The last question is do you think let me see do you think do you think a digital revolution is happening around around you? Of course, yes, I think so. Because uh, we are we are it was so we had to return maybe twenty or thirty years before that all the the works are what in uh, the labor hand was was increased without without uh, uh, computers i remember that when i was in the high school or in my school i they introduced us the 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 subject of computers and before that all the companies for example, in my career, the, the accountants, they do everything in with hands. So in the in accounting department, they have around 20, 20 people maybe working, like uh, doing uh, uh, invoices, elaborate uh, journal entries, or make uh, tax uh, forms on other accountants they have uh, to control the 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 cash flow so but everybody doing in in the paper with the with a pencil or with a pen and it was like uh difficult and uh for example the 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 financial statement it's really amazing the information in the change with the technology in yes it's true And, the, and for the world too, it's, it's in the same way. When you need to investigate anything, you into the Google and you search a lot of information and you
Hello, Julia. From the MS DOS program. Yes, me too. <laughs> yeah. that I was don't remember only, so much. <laughs> that was the only language. That was the only language to learn. Yes, yes. Yeah, MS was active in 1995, I think. Yeah. That, I yeah, remember yes. that was that was the first time that I worked with with, with that program, you know, with the disc, uh, the diskette. I don't remember the name, but mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. like twenty five years ago. Yeah, wow. yeah, like twenty five years ago. <laughs> yeah. and Amazing. and things have changed so much, so, so very much. much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I like I to try. Read. In fact, I in fact I'm reading a book uh, called Total, "Totally Disgusting." Totally disgusting. <laughs> yes, it's about what uh, is that book about? It's about a uh, pet, a dog, and a cat. They live together, oh. and they have a uh, different history. And they keep fighting or something like that. Mm, sometimes fighting and sometimes sometimes they try to I don't know how I don't know how to say they try to get along. Yes, yes they try to yes. get along is the right expression. They try to get along. Yes. Okay, nice. <laughs> I, I I like reading, but I prefer I prefer the stories that are tomorrow and the other at ten. No, the last time. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes, we, we should work together because sometimes at the end it's very hard. Yes, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. I, I was, I was. I was uh, working very hard for the for the finish the platform and in two days. 
Wow. Yes, yes, two days. Good, that's good. <laughs> uh, what do you say? De, pe de pelarse. No dormir. Don't mm, sleep. No. I... Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Uh, ah. they... So, for example, if if you see me tomorrow, you say, hey, Francisco, you look tired. And I say, yeah, I stayed up last night. Me desvelé anoche. Stay up. Yeah, stay up. Right. Okay, thank you. So, so you stayed up two days to finish the platform, Cecilia? <laughs> yes, uh, one today and one night. Okay. One night. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, so now you will prevent not to have uh, that happen again, you know. You will take prevention. Yes. Yeah. In right. this course, uh, in this course uh, we, we make the platform uh, uh, in time, die per die, die per die. Okay, right, right. Die by yeah. die. die, die. Day by day. Day by day. Day by day. Day by day. Or day you can say day. one day at a time, which is about the same meaning. Right? One, one day at a time. Right. Okay. okay, I think it's almost time. So let me close. Let's go back to the main session. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions or comments about today's class? I guess not. Okay. So, once again, thank you for being present. I expect to see everybody again tomorrow at 8 o'clock. You guys have a good night. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night.